Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you what is the use of keep all filters page option. So keep all filters which is present at the page level. Generally we don't give a lot of focus on that and uh, you know just use its default option which is always on right. But what if someone is asking you in the interview what is the use of keep all filters or where will you basically enabled or disabled right then in that scenario you must be aware and this is for both i would say for beginner ex as well as experienced users and uh, getting the getting to know about this option is is or any option that is present is important right because you never know what question may come up or during your settings for reports or dashboard if anything uh, something is you are not aware you may spend hours and hours just to figure it, just to figure it out what does it mean or how do you achieve a particular scenario however uh, the situation may be that you just need to enable or disable any option so what i'm showing you is the use of keep all filters i'll be explaining you the use of that um, before that just a quick information that this particular sheet is present in the description so that you can easily search any of my previously videos also i will be keeping all of my future videos here as well here so you can keep it as a bookmark uh, there in your power bi folder of uh, of your browser so that whenever you need anything related to the power bi you can quickly search whether something is available here and display or watch the tutorial based on the link present here with that let me go to the power bi okay so if you see nothing is selected and keep all filters is enabled similarly uh, over here nothing is selected and uh, keep all filters is enabled so you will go to any page the default property is that uh, the filter is enabled right but what is the use of it why do we use it well the main reason the keep all filters is basically enabled as you can see i hover my mouse over to this drill through to this page with all source filters or just filters on these fields so what does that mean this means that let's say over here i have no filter right so nothing is selected it's all free flow of field for all these subcategories if i want to select chairs and i want to go drill through and page four so now it is showing us the chairs trend but if i have let's say one of my segment over here if i just drop it what it is showing you is basically three different segments, right? We can select on consumer, we can select on corporate, we can select on home office. And over here, if you see, uh, basically keeping all filters will going to have the impact of these filter as well. So for example, if I select consumer, let's say, and now go to art and say drill through page four, this will going to show me the trend of art also it will take the impact of whatever i have selected here here in this case corporate is selected so this is what is the use of keep on filters to keep drill through to this page with all source filters right if i disable that then the impact of this filter will not come right so if i just go with the accessories and go to the drill through the page four the impact of this filter will not be present and that's mainly i wanted to explain it to you what is the use of keep all filters if it is enabled or disabled and in what scenario you will going to enable or disable it so that's what the tip for the today and now i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic